vehicle accidents, structure fires, drownings, natural disasters. All of these calamities have one thing in common, the danger of electrocution to responders. Until now, emergency responders have had no reliable means to ensure their safety against coming in contact with deadly AC voltage. That's why the professionals at Delsar invented the AC hot stick. First devised after numerous requests from people involved in vehicle rescue to help identify hazards from downed electrical wires, Delsar's AC hot stick will tell you from a safe distance if anything is electrically hot. The AC hot stick will alert you to the potential of electric shock without the need to physically contact any electrically charged surfaces or ground. The AC hot stick is a device that meets the rigid demands of emergency workers around the world. It's reliable, rugged, easy to use, requires little maintenance, and best of all, it works. Hi, I'm Kevin Pierce. AC voltage is found almost everywhere today. Many fire rescue workers have been badly injured or even killed from this invisible force that strikes in an instant. Delsar's AC hot stick provides an enhanced level of safety when working around electricity by quickly and accurately verifying electrical disconnect. Delsar's AC hot stick will reduce the chance of exposure to AC voltage in many ways. Added electrical safety means greatly reduced exposure to liability to claims resulting from firefighter injury or death, as well as claims from accident victims. The AC hot stick is a very sophisticated yet simple to use electronic device that senses the electrical field from any alternating current that is less than 100 cycles regardless the voltage. The AC hot stick will give an early audible and visual warning of the presence of dangerous voltages without the need to contact any energized area. It works in three different sensing modes, high, low and front focused. The high and low sensitivity settings allow the AC hot stick to sense AC voltage from all sides, while the front focused setting narrows the receiving area to the small frontal area of the unit, allowing it to pinpoint the source and distinguish the signals between adjacent wires. Remember, there is no need to contact any energized surface or ground to detect dangerous voltage while using the AC hot stick. It has been developed as a safety device with your safety in mind. Its greatest asset is the fact that you can tell if anything is electrically hot from a safe distance. The AC hot stick comes in a padded pouch with the batteries already installed. The major parts of the AC hot stick are the grip, the lanyard, operating switch, beeper, and the LED signal. When using the AC hot stick, start by turning the operating switch to the high sensitivity setting. You'll hear a series of beeps and see the LED signal flash as the unit goes through its self-check. Rapid beeping and a flashing LED that lasts about three seconds tells you the unit is operational. It requires no warm-up and is ready to use within five seconds after being switched on. Now adjust the sensitivity switch to the setting best suited for your situation. The high sensitivity setting is best used when looking for AC voltage in the general area. If you are near other high voltage sources such as overhead lines, the low sensitivity setting will help you better separate dangerous areas below. The front focused setting makes the AC hot stick directional, allowing you to pinpoint a source. If the batteries are too low, the unit emits a constant warning beep, alerting you to change the batteries. This assures you that the AC hot stick is very reliable. In normal service, a set of standard AA alkaline batteries will provide one year of service. The electronic circuitry is mounted on a printed circuit board housed in a sturdy, fully insulated plastic pipe. The set is splash waterproof and designed to operate in severe and even potentially explosive atmospheres. So far, we've discussed the basic design of the AC hot stick. Now let's look at how it operates. The AC hot stick is very simple to use and has a place on nearly any type of fire or rescue scene. Its capability to work either omnidirectionally or directionally makes the AC hot stick very reliable for pinpointing an AC source. Here are some demonstrations of the capabilities of the AC hot stick. 
First, let's look at a wire in free space carrying 120 volts of AC current. Notice how the AC hot stick signals by beeping and flashing as it is in the area of the wire. By switching to the low sensitivity mode, you will notice the unit begins beeping when it is moved closer to the wire than before. By switching to front focused mode, the AC hot stick only signals when it is pointed directly at the wire, allowing the user to determine exactly which wire is carrying the voltage. Now let's energize the same wire with over 7,000 volts of AC. Notice the difference in range and intensity of the signal. This not only tells the user that there is high voltage in the area, but sounds in time to keep the user safely back from the energized source. This exceeds the eight feet minimum distance from unknown voltages as prescribed by OSHA. While the AC hot stick is capable of detecting high voltages from a safe distance, it is also useful for pinpointing the exact location of electrical hazards in lower but still potentially lethal voltages. As you can see in this demonstration, when the AC hot stick is switched to the front focused setting, it can pinpoint which wire is carrying the AC and which one is ground in this common household cord. When you encounter a vehicle that is potentially charged with AC, the AC hot stick is essential to safely detect this invisible hazard. We've charged this truck with 120 volts of AC. The rescuer is able to determine the presence of this hazard from a safe distance by using the AC hot stick in the high sensitivity setting. When we raise the voltage to 7,000 volts of AC, the hot stick detects its presence from a greater distance. By switching to the low sensitivity setting, the user can better pinpoint the source while staying a safe distance away. If you don't detect voltage from a distance, continue scanning the area around, above, and underneath the vehicle. When a vehicle is located underneath high voltage power lines, the high sensitivity setting will detect the overhead lines. Switching to the low sensitivity setting will allow the user to get closer to the vehicle, but will probably continue to sound a warning. Scanning underneath the vehicle with the hot stick will shield it from the overhead wires. Now switching to the front focused setting will allow the rescuer to scan the rest of the vehicle without interference from the overhead wires. Shielding can prevent the AC hot stick from immediately detecting AC. If you encounter any metal object, such as this metal clad structure, scan the area closely on all sides before declaring it safe. If the metal is energized from a source of AC, the hot stick will alarm. Shielding is possible from large wet trees and other natural objects with enough mass. Shielding also occurs when a wire is properly encased in metal conduit that has been properly grounded. Here we are demonstrating the situation. Notice the conduit is attached to a ground and the AC hot stick does not alarm when passed over the conduit. This is because the metal conduit is safe. However, when we remove the ground from the metal conduit, the hot stick immediately warns us of the danger. One phenomenon to be aware of is electrostatic voltage. This is caused by friction and is not a true alternating current. However, the AC hot stick does alarm in the presence of electrostatic voltage. An example of this is if the hot stick is moved while touching dry leaves, natural fibers, or in some cases, if the user drags his or her feet across the ground while carrying the hot stick. Now that we've looked at a few of the many uses for the AC hot stick, let's discuss some of the precautions you should follow anytime you're working around energized electricity. As with any other hazard on the emergency scene, electrical hazards can be unpredictable and should not be taken lightly. Even though the AC hot stick or any other device indicates a wire to be dead, consider it to be energized or hot. In other words, don't touch the wires. There are several reasons for this. First off, the power company is in the business of providing power to its customers with a high degree of dependability. Therefore, once a fault is detected, automated machinery works to restore the power to that area. This is called automatic retries. There's no way to tell when this will happen, but these retries usually cease after a few minutes. Even after the retries cease, accidental re-energization can occur if wind causes contact with the nearby energized wire.
Another source for electricity is backfeeding. This occurs when someone hooks up a portable generator to their home's power supply, usually in a location away from the search area. If improperly installed, the power from that small generator can travel upstream to the electrical service grid. If there happens to be a transformer close by, the backfeeding current will be transformed from 120 to 240 volts to as much as 7,500 volts or more and sent further downstream. Since nobody is expecting electrical power in the area during a major power outage, Delsar's AC hot stick can be a lifesaver. Each search crew in an area with downed wires should be issued one of these devices. The AC hot stick is equipped with hermetically sealed switches and quality components to provide reliable operations and long life even in severe environments. It has been designed for operations in potentially explosive atmospheres. However, do not attempt to change the batteries in any situation other than a clean, dry, and safe atmosphere. The AC hot stick is very rugged and requires little care. If it's dirty, clean it with a damp cloth or a spray cleaner such as 409. Pay close attention to the area in front of the switch. While the unit is splash waterproof, treat it like most electrical instruments and do not immerse the AC hot stick. Also, take care not to spray anything directly into the beeper. To assure proper operation, do not allow salt water or anti-static solutions to contact the unit. The AA alkaline batteries in the AC hot stick will provide a year's service under normal operating conditions. If left on continuously, the AC hot stick will last approximately 300 hours on a fresh set of batteries. Even if the AC hot stick is rarely used, alkaline batteries have a shelf life, so to be safe, change them annually. To install the batteries, Make sure you are in a clean, dry, and safe atmosphere. Unscrew the lanyard and pull out the end of the hot stick. Pay attention to the direction of the batteries, since the new batteries must be installed in the same direction. The direction has been printed on the end of the circuit board. Before installing the batteries, clean the terminals by rubbing them on a cloth. Battery terminals are coated with a thin film at the factory and should be cleaned before installation and periodically as part of routine maintenance. If you drop the batteries, do not install them in the AC hot stick as they may leak or have a bent tip, causing operating problems later. A self-check immediately after installing new batteries will assure proper working order. If the batteries are installed in the wrong direction, the AC hot stick will not work at all. Or if only one battery is reversed, the unit will sound continuously and the LED will light constantly. When not in use, keep the AC hot stick in the padded case provided. If your AC hot stick signals when you tap it in the front focused mode, you may have a bad battery contact. The AC hot stick is designed to err on the side of caution. The most common correction for this is to install new batteries. The AC hot stick is useful at most any emergency scene. It's best used to confirm that the steps you or the power company have taken to control the electricity in an area have worked. We've already talked about typical wires down calls and the types of calls you would expect after a strong storm. But what about the day-to-day -day use of the AC hot stick? In transportation emergencies, cars can come in contact with power lines from downed poles. This is usually obvious. However, the not-so-obvious hazards can include underground electrical feeds, energized fences, and electrical contact when a vehicle strikes a building. By making it a habit to survey the crash scene with the AC hot stick as you make your initial size up, you can help assure the safety of your entire crew. It is important to know that the AC hot stick will not detect direct current DC of any kind. This includes both low DC voltage, for instance from a car's battery, and high DC voltage, such as the 750 volts of direct current found in a subway's third rail. Firefighters use the AC hot stick to confirm the absence of energized wires in walls and ceilings 
before beginning overhaul procedures. It is not uncommon to have power meters or fuse boxes damaged by the fire or even bypassed by people stealing electricity from the power company, making normal power control procedures ineffective. Anytime you encounter a flooded structure, you should be aware that the water could be energized. Use the AC hot stick to confirm the electricity has been shut off before you enter a flooded area. The AC hot stick is very capable of detecting energized puddles and other electrical hazards in flooded areas just as well. The AC hot stick is also capable of detecting energized water in swimming pools and hot tubs. Many rescue teams have included using the AC hot stick in their standard operating guidelines for swimming pool and hot tub emergencies. Confined space rescue teams worldwide use the AC hot stick to confirm the effectiveness of their lockout tagout efforts. When entering an unknown confined area or an industrial setting, the AC hot stick works well in providing the extra margin of safety you deserve. Collapse rescue teams use the AC hot stick in the same manner. Our customers include some of the most capable and experienced collapse rescue and USAR teams in the world. First responders, fire, police, and EMS personnel responding to transportation emergencies, search and rescue teams in urban and rural settings, and cleanup crews working with downed trees after wind or ice storms, all have made the AC hot stick part of their indispensable safety equipment. Industrial users and anybody else who may unknowingly be exposed to the dangers of electrical...